Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we're about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 122. Please turn to it. Page 122 and today is our lesson number 256. This problem that we're looking at on page 122 is the same exact problem that we solved a long time ago on day 15 and 16. I'm going to redo this problem at a little bit, of, little bit of a faster pace. We have already done one of these problems on day 1 through 200. We are redoing them, uh, as I said, at a little bit of an accelerated pace because last time I went into too much uh, detail. If you need uh, that much help, if you need to go in depth, you can always watch day 15 and 16, or you can watch this solution. But here I'm not going to explain too much, I'm just going to solve the problem, 15 and 16. So here's the problem. We are told that each employee belongs to either department X or department Y. We have two departments, X and Y, and everybody belongs to either X or Y. We are told that department X has more than twice as many people as in department Y. That's a very important information. Department X does not have twice as many people, but we are told that it has more than twice as many. We are also told that the average salary in department X is $25,000. Average salary in department Y we are told is $35,000. The question simply is, of the amounts that are given to us, which of them could be the overall average? And this is one of those answers, one of those questions, the new type of question that didn't exist in the old age, old GRE. Here, there are more than one right answer choices and uh, our job is to make sure that we check mark every one of them. And here are the answer choices. We have in A we have 26,000, then we have 28, then we have 29, 30, 31, 32, and finally in G we have 34. So let's get going. So we already have the problem. I'm going to erase it now. So here one more time, everybody belongs to either X or Y. X, we are told, has twice as many people as Y. The average for X is 25, the average for Y is 35. The question is, which of the following could be the overall average for the two departments combined? Let's get going. So what we're going to do is, we're going to start out page 122 is what we are also, which is same as day 15 and 16. We're going to start out by assuming that there are exactly twice as many people in X and we're going to see what happens at that point, okay? So let's begin. Let's begin by assuming that there are exactly twice as many twice as many people in X as Y. In that case, if that were the case, if that, if that were the case, if we are speaking hypothetically obviously, because that's not the case obviously, we are told there are more than twice as many. If that were the case, in that scenario, the overall average, overall average would be, but we are told that the average for department X is 25, and we are, we are saying that there are twice as many people in, in department X, so we have to take the weighted average, so it's 2 times 25 plus 35. So here uh, we are talking about a scenario where out of every three people, two of them make $25,000 on average, uh, and uh, the other person makes 35000 So there are three people. And that gives us 20, 2 times 25 is 50, 50 plus 35 is 80, so we get 85 over 3. 85 over 3, let's divide by 3, let's divide 85 by 3, how many 3's in an 8? 8 has 2 3's, the remaining 2 goes and joins the 5, becomes 25, how many 3's in a 25? 25 has 8 3's, 8 3's are 24, and the remaining 1 gives us a 1 third. So that tells us that the overall average in that scenario, if we had exactly, exactly twice as many people, would have been 28,000 28,333 dollars. That's, that's what it is. It's 28 and a third K. Which means because there are more than twice as many, perhaps I should, we should write it down, because there are because there are more than twice as many people, 
because x has more than more than twice as many that tells us twice as many it pulls the average down it pulls the average down that implies that the overall average that implies that the overall average overall average whatever it is whatever it is must be has to be has to be must be has to be less than 28 and a third 28 and a third and the question simply was which of the following amounts could be the overall average the answer is it cannot be 29 because it's more than 28 and a third it cannot be anything more than 28 and a third it cannot be 30 it cannot be 31 the answer is a or b now had it been a real exam at this point we are done that's the end of the story that's it answer the correct answer in this question is a and b and that's it we are done but for learning purposes we're not quite done yet what i want to find out what i'm curious about is what would the exact ratio have to be listen carefully now what we're going to this is a bonus uh, bonus part what would the exact ratio have to be of the number of employees in department X to the number of employees in department Y in order for the average overall average to be exactly $26,000? Let's find that out. But as far as the exam is concerned, we are done. The answer is 28 and a third, therefore it rules out 29 and anything above that. So now we are asking ourselves, what would, what would, the exact composition that is the ratio have to be in order for the overall average to be exactly twenty-eight thousand dollars. We're doing on the, we're doing some scenario B first. It's very simple, very far, very straightforward. So we're gonna assume that the weighted average that we did before before we did two to one. Now it's going to be W to 1. So department 1 has the average of 25,000 and the weight is W. And that W actually represents the ratio, whatever the W works out to be. If that W at the end we find out is 7, that means that for every one person in department Y, we have 7 people in department X. If that W happens to be 3 quarter, 3 quarter would, would mean that for every 3 people that we have in department X, department Y has 4 people and so on and so forth. We're going to solve for the W, which represents the ratio, the weight plus the 35 over how many people do we have overall well we are assuming the weight of w for department x and we are assuming a weight of one for department y because that's what we're talking about one to how many for every one person in department y how many people do we have in department x so it's w plus one that w comes from here and this one comes from here and that overall average has to be 28 that overall average has to be 28 or we could have done 26 if you like first it doesn't really matter now we just have to solve for W. Let's do it then. Multiply. Now this is the part I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to do it. So we multiply it here. We get 25W plus 35 equals 28W plus 28. 28W plus 28. Subtract 25W from both sides and we find that 3W equals 7 and therefore W equals 7 over 3. That's it. That tells us that for every, for every seven people in department X, there has to be three people in department Y. Do you understand? Let's find out if, let's find out if this is actually correct. I want to verify this thing. Let's find out. Let's verify it very quickly. Let's verify it very quickly. That's the answer. Let's verify it. Again, I need the room, so I have to keep erasing stuff. The answer is 7 to 3. How do we verify it? It's very simple. Right here, instead of W, we're going to put down 7. For every seven people in department X, 
this tells us that for every seven person in department X, we need to have three people in department Y. So if seven people for, for, for seven people in department X, we have three people in department Y, we have a total of 10 people. And that has to work out to be 28. Let's see if it does. 7 times 7, 25 times 7 is how much? Well, 25 times 8 is 200 because 8 quarters make $2. So it's 175. 175 plus 35 times 3. How much is 35 times 3? How the hell do I know? 30 times 3 is 90, and 3 times 5 is 15. So it's 90 plus 15, 105. Over 10. Let's see what that works out to be. 175. 175 plus 100 would be 275, so it's 280. Good, there we go. 280 divided by 10 gives us the 28. So it works. The ratio is 7 to 3. The ratio is 7 to 3. In other words, the exact same problem, the exact same problem, instead of phrasing the punchline the way they did, they could have at the end asked you that uh, if there are, if there are, if, if the overall average in the department is $28,000, and if one department has the average of uh, $25,000, I believe it was, and the other department has an average of $35,000, then what would, they have, what would the ratio have to be for the number of employees in the two, two departments? That would be a legitimate question. And in that case, the answer would be, the ratio would have to be 7 to 3. Let's find out, when would this be true? Overall average of $26,000. It's very simple, very straightforward, same, same idea, nothing changes here, nothing changes, this becomes 26, this becomes 26, and this will become W plus, W times W plus 1, and we solve just as before, just as before, that's the one, W plus 1, nothing has changed, so we get 25W plus 35 equals 26Ws plus 26, and now subtract 25W from both sides and W equals, turns out to be 9. W equals to be 9. Let's see if that is correct. This is the part that I'm talking about. If you need more help, if you need to go at a slower pace, if you need help, if you're one of those people who need help, uh, who needs help, uh, a little bit more help in algebra, then watch the slower video, which are day number 15 and 16. Let's, let's verify this thing, okay? So what I did in 15 and 16 is that on day number 15 we actually solved the problem and on day number 16 we're actually doing the work that we're doing right now, which is the asking ourselves what would the ratio have to be in order for A and B to be the correct answer. So here we're asking ourselves what would the ratio have to be in order for the overall average to be $26,000 if the average salary in department X is $25,000 and if the average salary in department Y is $35,000. And what we're claiming right now is that the ratio needs to be 9. For every 9 people in department X, we need 1 person in department Y. Let's find out if this is correct. Let's verify it, shall we? We're going to verify it. So we're claiming the ratio is 9. So this W is now 9. 9 to 1. 9 to 1. So we have 10 people, just like before here. 10 people. And that has to equal, that has to equal 26. Let's see if it does. 9 times 25. Well, 10 times 25 is 250, so it's 225. 225 plus the 35 over 10, 220, that's the 5, that's my 5. 225 plus 35 is same as 225 plus the 25, which is 250, plus the 10, which is 260. 260 over 10, what do you know? Gives us our $26,000. That's what it is. You understand? That's it, we're done. What I want from you for tomorrow, for the next video, is this. I'm going to put down the problem for tomorrow, day number 257. And I want you to do it on your own before you watch the next video. Here we go. Each employee belongs to either department X or Y. Department X has more than, more than, twice as many as Y. The average for X is 15. That's X. The average for X, Department X, is 15. 
the average for department Y is 25. Question is which of the following? Which of the following? could be the power of average. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. The answer is very creative. So it's the exact same problem as you can see as before, except we have made a couple of changes. One is that, unlike before, where Department X has twice as many people, now we have thrice as many, three times as many, thrice as many. For those of you, and I'm not suggesting that you're one of them, but you might be a non-native speaker, and for those of you who need the help in this word, and if you need to work on your vocabulary, we learned this word a long time ago, th thrice. Thrice was the word that we learned on day number 63 in our vocabulary video. Just type in GRE vocabulary words, day 63, and you will pop right up. GRE vocabulary words, day 63, and you will learn this word along with some other interesting and useful words to help you expand your vocabulary. Thrice as many, three times as many. So before we had twice as many people, now we have thrice as many people, three times as many people. The average for department X is $15,000, average for department Y is $25,000. The question is, out of all the amounts that is given to us, what are the possible values? What could be the overall, overall average for these uh, two departments combined? Do the problem first before you watch the next video. You will get more out of it. And once we have done the problem, do the second part also. Ask yourself, whichever amount that you claim that, that could be the overall average, ask yourself, what would the ratio have to be for, the, for, 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 for that average to be valid. What, in order for that particular, for example, if you tell me that the average could be $17,000, ask yourself what would the precise ratio have to be of the number of employees in the two departments in order, in order for the average to be $17,000, whatever it is that you're claiming. Do you understand? Do the whole work that we just did. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.